So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode. And in today's episode, this is what we are going to design today. Let me show you the preview quickly. Let me show you the preview quickly. Yeah, this is what you are going to design today. And basically, we are going to do a mock-up as well. Yeah, so this is what you are going to design today. Yes, everything, everything like this. And this is it. All the resources files that are used for the design they are here so please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know if you need psd file of this yes we are going to do all this mock-up this is the first mock-up and then the second mock-up is this so please subscribe like share comment and let me know if you need the mock-ups and the psd file as well so without wasting my time quickly launch the photoshop control n to open a new document and you are going to use if i'm sorry i'm going to use a square size a square size either you go to the print yes if you go to the print and then no 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 you don't have a square size you go to um, add an illustration and then you pick thousand by thousand or two thousand by two thousand so if i'm to go by two thousand by two thousand from this side then you type the name you type the name which is a church flyer church flyer and then the width is two thousand height two thousand resolution three hundred pixel per inch rgb color mode white background everything is okay it's for social media handles then i click on create then to get a nice background like this and then let's begin with working with the text yes let's begin with working with the text so quickly i'll just go and type my word all right so quickly let me just go and bring the logo the church name and then logo i'll drag it and then release it in photoshop nicely like that and push it up like this and i think this is okay Con then press enter ctrl a and then let me center it and then it falls at the center so this ctrl g and then put it in a group and call it logo all right then let me go and quickly set my guide go to view go to guide and go to new guide layout and then set here to six by six and make sure that we don't go overboard yes we make sure we don't go overboard so this should go up a bit and then t on the keyboard to activate the test to if it's not coming hit here to activate the test to hit here and then write the text over there and then i'll go and type my young yes the young i use a font called akira expanded so let me go quickly and then go and check for my akira expanded font it's here then i'll pick it nicely and then ctrl t and then scale it up a bit like this yes we scale it up and then we said we are going to make sure it doesn't go overboard so this is going to be our center yes this is going to be our center then press enter hold alt and then drag it to the side and then you just type the young ministers ministers and then drag it again and then type the retreat all right so just type the retreat and this is okay this is okay this is okay now we type inside the logo and we need to get it out we need to get it out no 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 okay let me put this side and then add new layer and then open it and then go and pull them out go and pull them out so drag it up and then good so the logo must be separately and then this theme to must be separated and then we set a gradient overlay to it let's go right click this side and then see go to blending option and let's see a gradient overlay so gradient overlay and boom we have it this way let's change it because i use a different gradient overlay for it and i think it's here yeah it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here so we need to change this side from linear to um to this um a linear rather and then this must come to reverse and then i think it's okay so click on okay and then right click it and then what copy layer style then come and pick the young and then right click and then you paste layer style come and pick ministers right click and then you paste layer style in other words you have pasted all the gradient overlay on each of the tests yes on each of the tests and then you pick a rectangle to draw a nice rectangle beneath this side good and then let's push this to this side and this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome let's change the um, um color let's change the color to something like this 
and I think that's exactly what we used. And then we are going to type the test on it. Um, let's go and check it. It was an, uh, a new kind of fire. So T on a keyboard, hit here, and then let's type a new kind of fire. Uh, boom. Then we change it to color white. Change it to color white. And then we push. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So you center it with the test. Boom. Good. Control D to deselect it. And then Control T to select it again and then scale it up a bit to at least make sure it have the visibility becomes clear. Press enter to check it and guys that is it all right so that is it and um, for now then we can even put all of them in a group so let's select the text and everything here control j and then you call it the theme all right all right all right all right all right all right and i think we are done with the theme it left with the time date and then a few details so let's see if we are on track good so we brought the name we brought the name let me just select it from here and then push it to this side so bring it here boom and then it's nicely fixed at this side and then the last thing again is to go and check the days yes go and check the days go and check the days and then the time as well yes so we drag it boom something like this and then paste it over here boom and then you have it nicely like this good 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 control j to put it in a group and then call it days or dates sorry sorry days days and then time yes because it's monday to friday and then 7 pm to 9 pm and this becomes the name i think let's work with the image as well so i've worked only or i've worked on the image so therefore i drag it this way and then bring it if you have your in image down there you can also push bring the image inside nicely like this and just adjust it and make sure it doesn't go overboard too much too much too much too much and i think this is okay so i put this and this in a group and i call it name and image name and then image yes and assuming that you are working with maybe two or three images then it means you need to arrange the images at the side and then you can even squeeze the side up meaning that the name can go to this side and go and hit this line the date and the time too should go and hit this line whereby you can arrange the images at this side properly yes properly 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 then let's go and see the next thing again is the location yeah it is the location so i'll close this location up and then go and open this and this which forms the original location then i'll push it over the inside nicely like this and guys all these things you can type them all these things you can type them for the purpose of not the tutorial not to be too long that is why we are pushing them in order to have a very quick and a short tutorials yes very quick and a short tutorial that is the aim for today and then the font i'm using for this monday to friday is a balega font yes it's a balega font and then the time too is also the same balega font yes and then the background i created a rectangle and i pick a color from the dress of the man of god yes i pick a color for the dress of the man of god so if i have to show you the hex code yes if i'm to show you the hex code is d1 ef sorry d1 e e6 ff d1 e6 ff that is the hex code for this rectangles and then this one i pick a color also very closer to it that's why we are able to get the the colors from yes and then we can put this and this in a group and then call it the location or venue yes this becomes the venue yes which is awoshi anya market sabat city that is the location and then the location icon is also there then the next thing is that we are going to pick this um, um and also live location as well facebook live and then um, a live icon Yes, we are going to pick them. We are going to pick them. So let's see. It's beneath here. So this, select this, select this, select this, and then select this. So the beneath one, I created a rectangle and then I gave it a color before I type the details on it. Yes. 
before I type the details on it. So you can also do same. You can also do same. You can also control G to put it in a group and then I call it live location. Or you can even call it the social media handles. Yes, you can call it the social media handles. And then you center it this way. Good, 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 good. Then make sure everything is in line. Everything is in line. Yeah, everything is in line. Control D to deselect it. And then let's see the team must go up a bit. Yes, the team must go up a bit. So use the arrow key to push them up a bit and then you get something nice and then the logo too must go up a bit and guys just adjust it adjust it name and images and this is okay so date and time that is it nicely like this all right so guys and i think the design is awesome now the design is awesome now we don't lack anything we don't lack anything so the only thing we lack is the background yes let's go work with the background and then i'll go here i'll still use this um, area for my background so the first thing we did was that we got a gradient um, solid color and then let's go and check the color as this so ctrl c to copy the hex code and then i'll come quickly to this side and then i'll go to here and then go to solid color and paste it over the good so it has even selected already then i'll add layer marks to it or oh, sorry i'll add new layer and then press b on the keyboard to activate the brush tool and then zoom this side increase the brush size like this nicely i think it's too much so let me reduce it and then i'll change the color to i'll, I'll hit here boom good 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 and then i'll change this blending option to something like this or i just want some white fill inside so screen is okay boom so screen is awesome screen is awesome screen is awesome and then i'll go to the resources file i have this background over there drag it to the background and then release it nicely like this good push it beneath it beneath it beneath it this is awesome this is awesome press enter on the keyboard to make or to accept the changes all right so now go to the blending option and let's set a blending option to um extrusion yes exclusion exclusion is awesome then add layer mask to it uh, 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 uh. add layer mask to it and then click inside the layer mask and then reduce the brush size then we are going to clear this side boom good good this is awesome 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 and then again we are going to the same resources for drag this and release it nicely like this and then push it up sorry sorry push this up good 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 awesome like this enter and then go to the blending option and again you set a blending option to it something closer to screen and i think screen let's go through 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 and i think okay so let's go through and see maybe we'll get something different from this yeah Maybe we'll get something different from this. And then the word, which one did we use? Which one did we use? Which one are we using? Which one are we using now? Which one are we using now? And I'm sure the screen will be okay for us. Yes, yeah, screen will be okay for us. Press enter. Add layer mask again. Add layer mask again. And then go and click B on the brush tool to activate this. And then clear this side. Clear this side. Clear this side. And then you realize that it is inside there it's in there it's in there it's in there and then you call all this in put them in a group control gen and then call it the background all right so our background to a set and once we are done we are not done yet guys you know what to do 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 so let's quickly go and do it let's quickly uh cancel 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 yeah you know what to do so the only thing to do now is to add beauty to it so go to Control alt shift and e and then match everything in one layer separate layer right click it and then convert to smart objects and once smart object is converted successfully you go to filter go to camera roll filter and let's boost the whole flyer up 
yes, it's time to boost the whole flyer up because I have told you that gra graphic design covers four key areas. The first one is background, text, images, and then adding beauty. So the remaining part is adding beauty. So let's go and do it. So you have the camera roll photo in front of you or, or just you have the camera roll photo. So experiment with it, push this side or push to this side. And I think it's okay. Go to tint, push it to this side. And I'm sure this is okay. So let me, I want um highlight. So highlight, move to this side and then black move to this side. Guys, basically experiment with this thing and then definitely if you are able to get something nice you click on okay so i keep moving so if all this thing is okay let me go and check before and after you realize that a great changes has been made a great changes has been made yes yeah, so this is the before and after before and after so if you are okay with it you click on okay to accept the changes and then apply it on the whole design so this is before and this is after again so guys if you are okay with it, then you just close it. So please, this is how we are able to design something awesome like this. Please subscribe to this channel, like, share, comment, and let me know what you think about this flyer in the comment section below. I love you. I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye for now. Until then, peace.